should knock out wins to his credit and a brown belt in jiu-jitsu courtesy of the legend Eddie Bravo. Here is welterweight contender Alan Brahma Joban. Started training Muay Thai back in 2005 because he wanted to learn how to fight. Well, now more than 10 years later, he is certainly fighting and getting it done in a big way on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. His opponent is gonna need to keep his chin tucked and his hands up high. Ohio, here is the welterweight division staple, Matt the Immortal Brown. And you want to talk about a fighter's fighter. This guy might just have the biggest heart on this UFC roster. I hearken back to the fight against Eric Silva in Cincinnati. Seemingly left for dead after a body shot, and yet Brown goes on to stop Eric Silva in round three. This is a man you need to knock unconscious to get out of there. Matt the Immortal Brown back for more tonight. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Brown is one year the elder. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. What to wait division? Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record on. 16 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Mixed martial artist holding a professional record on. 23 wins, 16 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA! Matt the Immortal! Oh! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Lavigne draws the assignment here. Ready? Here we go. All right, round one is underway, and I got to think when you're fighting a guy like Matt Brown, you have to be mindful of not getting overly aggressive too early. This is a guy who has proven very difficult to put away, and you got to save something in the register for that latter round. You know Brown's going to keep on coming. Oh, Swung of the haymaker. Oh, effective strike there by Jobin. <laughs> Whiffs on the straight right hand. Lands a kick to the leg. Back to the clinch now, Joe. Oh, oh big nice knee. Oh. He's in big trouble. The man has his chin been tested in. Straight right, he misses. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost... Oh, yeah, he's he's gonna gonna run. Run. Unbelievable! Straight punch for the knockout victory. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and 